So I came across a whole bunch of influencers that said Thailand is a great digital hotspot where there's tons of digital nomads and it's a great place to live. And so I moved here. This is a regular day in the life of what it's like to live in Koh Lanta, Thailand. So what really drew me here was the cost of living and the cost of rentals, apparently. And it's true. The cost of rentals is very cheap. I found this beautiful two-bedroom apartment for only $600 a month Canadian, which is around $450, $500 US. So I start off my day with the wildlife feeding the monkeys. Here's Charlie. Or I call him Charlie because that's who he reminds me of. And um, after that, workout time. There's no gym around here, so there's an opportunity for a big entrepreneur. Anyways, after the workout, oh yeah, the cat has to be fed as well. And myself, usually it's just a banana and a protein shake. All right, monkeys are fed, cats fed. <clears throat> Workout's done and now it's off to work. A lot of time I work at home, uh, but today I feel like going to the ocean and working near on the cafe. There's a cool cafe with Wi-Fi. I'm in Old Town and there's, you can see there's shop, little shops all the way down this road on left and right. Anyways, we're gonna go to my little favorite cafe and do some work, get my cappuccino. It's a great way to start the day. Thank you, yeah, this is the owner of uh, Lanta's Cafe. Best cappuccinos in Koh Lanta. So, uh, what do we got? So usually I have the place almost to myself until around 12 o'clock, a couple customers might show up. But this is uh, basically my average day. In the 